Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan, here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello. And we're here to review and play Golden Girl and the Guardians of the Gemstones board game. We sure are, and not to be confused with Golden Girls. No, that is a completely <laughs> different genre altogether. <laughs> yes. So this is based on an 80s cartoon, I believe it was sort of the girl version of He-Man, they were at the same sort of time. So before our time yes. that we would have been viewing it, so not something we're that familiar with. There is the back of the back box. Of the box. Ooh, uh, we're going to be in, in, in competition today. Yes, to see who you is the I. fittest. <laughs> Essentially, yes. All right, so let, let's just get in and show you what's in here, and we'll kind of explain the gameplay as we go, since we're playing through the whole game. Yep. Um, here's the instructions. I'll attempt to scan or take a photo of it in case you are missing the instructions in your copy. Mm -hmm. Now, we've already got some of the things out of the box. Under here we have the, the board. board, which we'll show. We have the playing pieces, the dice, and the, what are they, power gems? They are indeed power gems, yes. Uh, Despite the, the fact they look like stars. Well, stars can be power gems. Um, we should also mention the two dice that we have over there are not standard dice one to six. They're one to three. Whoa. Ooh, yes. And then we have a pile of Golden Girl cards. On the back, there's a few different things. We'll explain these as we kind of turn them over throughout the game. So roll, roll two dice. Roll two dice. Um, this here is the Dragon Queen. All right, so there's a few of those throughout the deck. We then have these kind of different forms of competition uh, because essentially we are in a competition here in this game. To see who is the fittest to defend, what was the country? Or uh, Argonia. So Golden Girl, Sapphire, Ruby, Onyx and Jade are, were the, the characters in the show, I assume. Um, and they're the guardians of the, the gemstones. So the more of those we have by the end of the game, the yeah. more fit and the most athletic we are. And also the winner of said board game. Yes. All right. So there's a few different types of battle. There's sword fight. Um, note they all have a different number that will come into play as One well. One to four. Yes. Number four is the chariot race. Now, we are number one and two. We have... Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. And the foot race is in here somewhere. Yes. Where is it? There we go. Foot race is the one. So those are all the different types of cards. You want to just move the bottom of that box and we'll get you all the board out. All right. So a little bit of a different shape. For a board game, we have the star because that's the you shape mean of the, the power the, gem. The power gem. Yes. <laughs> uh, now you can see each of the characters depicted on the board, as well as our enemy dragon queen. Oh, let us know if you've actually seen this card in, because I haven't. No, we, this is our first um, thing we've ever really seen or heard about it. So there's uh, up to five different players in this, but you don't get to actually pick who you play as. It's meant to be a random draw. All right. So shall we start setting up and, and going? All right. You pick him. Random. I have green, which is jade. So I'll be playing as jade, and they each have a different start space corresponding right. with the color. And I'll be... What have you got? Oh, the golden girl. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so normally you would then put these pieces aside in any other game, but Except, not in this one. Nope. So they've got to be placed on their respective start zones, even if they're not being used in the game yes. by another player. Apparently putting them on the board is meant to help remind you that those colours are not being used. That seems the opposite of what's going to happen, but that's, okay. That's what I think. I, I kind of feel like having them on the board makes you go, oh, hang on, what colour was I? Because I'm playing as green. I would never pick green normally You'd if normally I had a purple. choice. Yeah, I'd go with like a purple or blue. So this is going to be super confusing. We each start off with 10 power gems each. If you are playing with all five players, however, you actually only start with eight of the power gems instead. Only because that's you don't, there's not any more gems to dole out. No. Uh, now, Dragon Queen over here in the corner starts with no power gems. However, we can lose them to her throughout the course of the game. Because she, we can also challenge her with the uh, roll two dice cards if we happen to pull it. Yes. All right. So the idea is we're going to move around the well, power gem shape. Depending on what we land on, we might have a battle with either each other, Dragon Queen, or we might lose a gem just instantly. Yeah, so this one's basically, you land on here, you put one gem into the Dragon Queen sort of zone, and then you roll again, and then you keep on going until you land on a battle space. Yes, so you have to have landed on a space that makes you draw a card before you can end your turn. And if I happen to roll and I land on, on depending on what colour I land on, if I land on any colour where the player's not been played, so for so instance, if I land red. on Ruby or Sapphire, then I can choose who I want to battle. Obviously, it's going to be Laura because there's only other one I'm a player. Yes. If I happen to land on Laura's colour, which is green, I automatically have to battle her. Mm -hmm. And if I land on my own colour, 
I can choose who to battle, and if I happen to lose the battle, I don't get any consequences, aka I don't lose any power gems. Yes, so you really want to be landing on your own colour. Yeah. Um, of course, in a two-player game, there is no choice. It kind of takes that aspect out of it, which is a little bit sad. I think this potentially could have been something that was three players and up instead, so that that choice factors in in some but way. But you might be asking, how do I earn and lose power gems? Well, rock, paper, scissors, of course. No, no, no. Sword, shield, and... Stone. Stone. So, st stone, sword, and shield. So... Paper, rock, scissors. Yes. So, we're going to play uh, stone. <laughs> That's the stone. We have a sword. I call it the finger. And we have a shield. So, we're going to play that uh, depending on which card we get. So, so, how about we start? Be prepared to sit here for like another 20 minutes while we play paper, rock, yeah. scissors. So, we have to go through the entire thing of cards. And so once we get to the, through the entire deck and they're all exhausted, whoever's got the most power gems at the end wins. Yes. So, sure, we'll get started and we'll tell you right. a couple of the other details as we go. Six. So, you add together the total of one, both. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I landed on one player, that the colour that the player's not in game. So, I'm going to pick Laura by default. But of course, you have to pick up your card first. We're having a sword fight. All right, so that means we're going to play stone, sword, or shield. However, because it's got the number three on it, that is what it's, is at stake here. So I'm, I'm basically betting three that I can beat Laura, and if I lose, Laura gets three of mine. If I win, I get three of Laura's. Exactly, because you didn't land on your own colour, so Boom. you're not protected. All right, whoever's turn it is is meant to go one, two, three, and then we show which one we've gone for. All right, one, two, three. Fingered All your right. paper. <laughs> so the sword um, cuts the shield. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we should mention too, the stone actually breaks the sword and the shield covers the stone to win. So uh, be prepared for us to use the wrong sort of thing fairly often during this game. I'm sure we'll mention, oh, I had scissors. Oh, wait, no. So because it was a sword fight, and I think it's three. Now, or Laura five seems to have particularly bad luck with paper rocks. I mean, sword, shield, and stone. Yeah, I don't know why. Three. All right, three. Now, what color was I? I was green, green, wasn't I? Oh no, see, I'm already confused. One, two, three. So I lose one power gem to the Dragon Queen, so you just pop it on her space. Roll again, hopefully get a four. Oh no, if you get a four, then you lose another one. That's the whole idea. So yeah, every time you land on the grey, it happens. You might go around all of them and be super unlucky, and that's just part of it, unfortunately. Two. One, you went to move the blue. Two. I did, I did. I never play as green, so this is super confusing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I don't know um, what I'll be doing yet until I pick up my card. Oh, you're facing the Dragon Queen. All right, so this is the only one where you don't battle against a fellow player. I'm going to fight the Dragon Queen, and potentially I could win my, what are they, power? Power gems. Power gem so back. I believe you roll two dice. Mm -hmm. If you get odd total, mm -hmm. you lose, and if you get an even total, you win. Yep. So if I win, I take every single power gem she has. Obviously, it's not a great deal at the moment. If I lose, I have to give her three of mine. And then it builds up again next time to battle her. Yes. All right. You so won. three plus one is four. It's even. So I win and collect my <laughs> own power gem back. <laughs> All right. Let's keep on this moving. Two. One, two. So I'm obviously battling you. Yep. For another sword fight. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Blunk, blunk, Aww. blunk. <laughs> All right, gimme, 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 gimme. So I have to give you another three because you won the sword fight, which is the number three. There you go. I've got it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we're going to have a bow and arrow for two. Ready? Three. One, One, two, two three. three. Blunk. Ah, jeez. So I've got to give you, because I'm not on my own color, I have to give you another two. Thank you. Three, one, two, three. One goes to the Dragon Queen. Three, one, two, three. It's obviously going to be against you. Oh, it's not. It's going to be against Dragon Queen. And that is an even number, I believe. Yeah, Yoink. Three plus three is <clears throat> even. So you just won your one back. Um, it's quite a large deck of cards. So if you did want to maybe play a shorter version, you could just maybe play half the deck or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because I mean, I've almost bankrupted Laura. Yes, now if I do run out and I owe Nathan any power gems, I have to give him anything I have, even if it's not a sufficient amount. If I have none, I owe none. And you, do, you, don't, you don't lose or anything, it just continues on. Yeah, there's no penalty. So you're right. versing me. So yeah, so even if there was other players, because I'm on yellow, I would have to play Nathan. Bow and arrow. Bow and arrows again. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. 
Oh, the shield covers the stuff. I'll take your last two, thank you. <laughs> so at the moment I have nothing. Do you notice how, even though it's this game of luck, I keep winning? <laughs> Lovely. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One to Dragon Queen, a roll again. One, two, three, four, one to Dragon Queen, ah, roll see, again. Ah, see, now that's unlucky. One, Theoretically, two, that could keep happening if you kept rolling an amount of four. Foot to race, sir. Well, hopefully I can win the foot race because Ready? I have nothing. One, two, three. Do it All again. Right. If you tie, you just keep going until, until you there's have a winner. winner. One, two, three. Oh no! <laughs> I can't uh, provide you with anything, but Nathan did protect himself from losing Thank anything you. to me. Four. You can land on each other. There's nothing that says you can't occupy no. the same space. All right, another foot race. One, One two, two, three. three. Bloom. <laughs> Have you won any yet? No. <clears throat> Come on, Laura. Um, we we uh, should say one, we are two, just three, genuinely four, picking random options: the stone, the sword, or the shield. Yeah, we're here. not. There's, there's, there's no susness. No. One, two, three. Jeez, I keep on landing on the Dragon yes, Queen. That's what I need to have happen, and then I'll battle two, Dragon three, four, Queen five, instead six. of you, please. So I'm on my own, so I can't lose. Yeah, so Nathan's on his own colour. So if he was battling against me, he wouldn't be able to lose any gems. However, <laughs> he was battling Dragon Queen <laughs> and has you. won them all back. Beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. So let's just end the game. I'm glad Nathan's this, the winner. I'm glad this has been recorded. <laughs> One, two. So you can't lose any. Yeah, so again, if I get one that battles Nathan on my own colour and I am safe. Oh, this would be a good one for me to win. Also, I've got nothing to lose anyway. One, one two, two, three. three. Bloomp. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky I didn't have anything one, and two, I wasn't three, on a different four, colour. Five. All right. Foot race. One, two, three. <gasps> you won. <gasps> The stone, it breaks the sword. There you go. What a time to win. <laughs> I got one back. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Six. Oh, and I'm battling Dragon Queen now. What you get odd numbers? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, now she has nothing. However, you still have to battle because I can still lose my one and only gem to her. Come on, just get that odd number for right. me. Ooh. I got an even number, so I would have won if she had anything. Sorry, I already got it. All right, my turn to roll. Three. No, That's I'm not green. you. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, so you're on green, so if there were other players, you would still be needing to battle me, because it's my colour. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, what does that do? That beats the me. The sword cuts the shield. I won. I won in the bow and arrow what? competition. Yay. All right. Turn. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. And we have another bow and arrow competition. Maybe my luck is, is coming <sighs> back with the bows and arrows. One, two, three. <gasps> shield covers the stone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Dragon Queen. Oh. Odd number. So when you lose to the Dragon Queen. Three gems go in there. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can just win them back if you happen to battle her again. Oh, of course. But we have had a few of her cards already, so maybe there's not many left. Three. All right, so I'm in gold, so no matter what, I would be battling Nathan, except Ooh. for this. Maybe I can win those. All right, so I need even numbers again to win. Three plus one is four. Boo. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Oh, I'll lose a power gem, Nathan. Going downhill. One, two, three, four, five. Sword fight. One. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Ah. Shield covers the stone. <laughs> Thank you. So that was a sword fight I won that time. Better value. Boo. Two. Oh, lose a power gem and then roll again. Okay, we're getting through the cards actually pretty quick because we're trying to keep the pace up. Chariot race. So that's the best one to win because that is worth four. One, one two, two, three. three. Not that um, I can because you're in your own colour. Yeah, so thankfully I am on my own colour, so I'm protected. However, um, I could have won them had I managed to win the Correct. not rock, paper, One, scissors. One, two, three, four. Obviously versing you. Bow and arrow. One, two, three. Oh. Sword cuts the shield, so I win two gems from the bow and arrow competition. <clears throat> we have a chariot race for four. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Oh. 
I'll take four oh, of those. I could have counted no, those out for you. No, I don't you. trust you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sword fight. One, two, three. Ah. Oh. So stone breaks the sword. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the right one. Oh, I know. Come on. All right, so I won three there from Nathan. Six. We lose, and then I roll again. Whoops, there goes one. <laughs> That's a four. Thank you know you. what that means. Oh, no. No. So every time um, they are all equally four apart, those lose the Beautiful. ones. Beautiful. Okay, a sword fight. I'm on my own colour again, so I can't actually lose any gems no matter what the outcome here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah. Oh. Shield <laughs> covers the stone. We did not plan that, by you know, the way. I've gotten some pretty bad luck, haven't I? Oh, and I didn't earlier in the game. Boo. One, two. Foot race. One, two, three. Okay, so one. You one. Um, obviously, you play the same little game there. Every single one. It's just total luck which card you're playing oh, pretty much. with. Yeah, there's no extra skill needed for the different values, of course. So right, last, last one. card, so this will end the whole game. Bow <clears> and <throat> arrow for two. One, two, three. Blomp. Okay, so... I think you win might... for Nathan on the last go. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Woo! So I won. Who was I? Jade. Jade won. Um, pretty surprising given how we started that game. I thought I mean, for sure it was going Nathan's if, if way. If you get good luck, but you get sort of low value cards. Mm. But then again, you lose one or two chariot races and then that sort of depletes you quite sort of largely. Well, that's the thing. It, it, there's not really any skill at all. Uh, it, it's just... Yeah, and what as, you win and what you lose. I mean, you could win every single foot race, but they're only worth one. And unfortunately, because you blew through all the Dragon Queen cards fairly early, all the ones that went here weren't really recoverable. Not, so, not near the end, no. no. Um, I, for me, personally, the game's a little bit repetitive. A little bit repetitive? <laughs> I think, you know, maybe playing with like four or five players, because then you wouldn't be battling on every single turn, because there would be more variety of who you're playing it against. But even then, I don't know, just play rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> um, I do give it credit for being a licensed game that's just not go from start to end, which yeah. a lot of like the 80s and 90s games were based mm -hmm. on licensed properties, but uh, very repetitive, especially with two players. Yeah, I, I feel like this would be more of like a cool collectible if you are a huge Golden Girl and the Guardians of the Gemstones fan rather than something you sit and play through all the time. It's something makes me think there's not a whole lot of them out there. I don't know. I've never heard of it, to be honest. So, we, maybe, we're just the wrong age, obviously, for it. We weren't quite watching not, stuff like that then. <laughs> not, not cool enough. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments section if you've ever seen Golden Girl and the Guardians of the Gemstones. Was it good? Did was you it hate bad? it? Was it your, your favourite show? I don't know. Or were you one of the three people that actually played the board game? <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.